the thing where I struggle with is, okay, let's say they, you know, bring in a new coach and he makes some of the changes that a lot of fans want to see. What is that? Is that really changing the ceiling of this team with this current roster and the current, you know, the limitations that they have without the top end talent with, you know, currently some multiple players in the starting lineup who are not shooting at all uh, from the outside. It's really tough in the NBA uh, to win that way. And you're seeing some of those issues with, okay, get Hartenstein in there and, but then you lose Robinson's defense. And there's always a, there's always a, yeah, but you know, whenever, whatever move you want to theorize that Tibbs should make, there's a, there's a drop off associated with it in theory. So I, I don't, I think they're in a tough spot. I don't really know what they do. Yeah. They're in a really, I just want to jump in quickly. I'm sorry, Chris, just to say also that when you judge the wins and losses, you, it's not fair just to talk about Tom Thibodeau. It's fair to judge everybody, right? The front office, because this is the team that was put together. Uh, These are the cards that are dealt to Tom Thibodeau, not saying he doesn't have a voice. He does have a voice, but you also have to look at the way the pieces fit. So I think, You know, if you're Jim Dolan, you're looking at this thing and you're saying, Tom Thibodeau, you're gone. I I agree with Jonathan. I think it's more uh, it makes more sense to judge it in totality, judge everybody as a group. 